Having a really healthy soil enables us to produce high quality food with less environmental impact. Soil is really important for nutrient cycling. It helps filter and transport water. It's where most of our plants get their nutrients from. It stops erosion and it helps mediate flood damage. With the change in climate, we're looking at a reduction in crop load because it's getting warmer. Kiwi fruit require winter chill. Cold temperatures are important for higher yields. At the moment, we're looking at ways to remedy that. We're looking at fruit growth as a proxy for how hard a vine is working with the amount of sunlight that it gets, the amount of water it uses, nutrients, and the timing of foliar sprays to enhance fruit growth. It's important to target your treatments, foliar applications, irrigation, so that the vine has what it needs at the right time for maximum fruit growth. I'm helping kiwifruit growers and the industry with their sustainability goals. So we've got a huge focus on nutrient balances in the orchard and optimising our inputs, whether that be nutrients or water, and understanding when those nutrients become available. One of the common practices in industry is girdling to increase both fruit size and fruit quality. Girdling is effectively ring barking, where you're stopping the supply of nutrients to the root system and instead putting all of that into the fruit growth and fruit quality. But what we've found through monitoring root system health over time is that the continuous girdling is actually reducing root system volume and health and capability and the resilience to change in climate, especially through uh, droughts or waterlogging as we've seen recently. Through this research, we are able to understand soil systems better, make them more resilient and therefore be able to handle the climate variation that is being thrown at us. I love soil because it underpins all life on earth. When we look across our landscape, we see all the stuff above the ground, but we forget that that is all reliant on what is underneath the surface.